Now this is a tank. I like, I'm a, I'm a Werribee. I like the German tanks, but this just, the Pershing has a presence. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna start this. They're able to capture so many details, the real thing so well. Even that slight upward angle on the roof of the hull where the hatches are. They were able to get that and the hatches, if I move them out of the way of some of the pieces of the turret, the hatch is still open fully and they clear the turret when they open. You just have to get them to a certain way to open them. There's no built up interior, but it is deep enough. So I mentioned earlier on other reviews that you can't really sit Kobe figures down reliably and get them to stay. Well, they thought about that. They made it deep enough so you just stand the figures up and their heads popping out. It's basically as if they were sitting there and see so they fall back. You don't need to, you don't need to worry about positioning them. They just fall back at that angle. You can't push them down too far. The front has the ball mounted machine gun. It doesn't move side to side. It only moves up and down. But if you really want to, since it's only on one stud, you can twist this piece to get to point, you know, different angles to the side if you want. I do will say that I don't like how it looks there. It comes off as kind of disjointed and like sticks out too far at a weird angle. But I don't know if I could have done any better. And if I can't do any better, I'm not going to complain. It has these side skirt pieces, which look at that. They just fold right down into place and they match the lines. And... The front fenders, they can come up, they can come down, they sit into place at the perfect angle to match the side skirts. The rear fenders though, they can't go down too far and they can't go up too far. They're locked into place and that's very excellent. I like that. You've got a ton of detail on the turret. As you've been able to see, there's what looks like an air conditioner <laughs> unit sticking out the back. I know it's not. You have a jerry can, you have something. You know, spare tracks on the side with the excellent white printing everywhere. The printing for the, I, I believe that's shell hatch, but it may be the pistol port or maybe even escape hatch, but I don't think so. You have the modern small design of a, I said 50 cal earlier. It may be meant to be a 30 cal, but honestly, I don't know. But it can work as either at this scale. The hatch, the hatches on the turret open. This one... Is just regular built up a hinge piece and then a plate but this one is built up with four quarter circle pieces i'll take that off and it's very nicely built up i like it a lot um one day they may be able to start printing the vision slits around in the cupolas but for now this is very good if you really want to you can take a marker a black marker and make them yourself and like on the hull floor, the turret is deep enough that you can just stand figures there and it will look perfectly fine like that. Now let's come down to what in my opinion is one of the biggest selling points for Kobe, their tracks. These medium large size of Kobe tracks, they hit on this design years and years ago and I'm coming apart. You can't be too rough with these sets because they have some pieces that are kind of held on by one or two studs. But again, they're designed more for adults. But these tracks, this is, you know, solid glass. And they roll so smoothly. And you know that if you're in any way familiar with the brick-built tank, military vehicle, even construction equipment sphere, you know that getting tracks that run well and smoothly is very difficult. I've had this in the front for a while. You may have noticed that is not, does not come with the set, but I've shown you, know, you can do it. And it's supposed to just mimic machine gun fire. I'll take that off now. And this large muzzle brake piece isn't compatible with any sort of stud system whatsoever. The most you can do is fit a Kobe bar, because you can't get, can't be a Lego bar, you can fit a Kobe bar through the muzzle brake piece, and there is a little bar-shaped hole in there that can attach that, and I've been able to kind of flimsily attach some flame effect pieces that way, but otherwise, I really just wish Kobe would have their own blast effect pieces. But 
gun and the mantlet are good. You can just grab the gun by the very end and move it, and it won't come apart, unlike the Chaffee. And like I said, most Kobe sets, this is the case. They're, it's very good quality. You also have the hitch at the rear for the ammunition trailer, which the executive edition does come with. I didn't get that because I'm poor. And this is a very cool system on the back. This hose hooks over these two round pieces. And that keeps the engine deck cover on and it keeps it held down at that angle. All you have to do to get the engine deck cover off is to just move that piece out of the way, lift it up, and then slide it out. Before I show you there, I'll show you how this is built. So this part's flat and this part is at that tiny hinge. So what you're doing when you remove that hose, you're removing the hose, lifting this, tiniest bit up and then it can just slide out like it's on a tray like on rails and this piece will slide in to that gap right there like that and it's a very clever system the engine is well built up you can even see what I believe are exhaust lines they run directly to where these why I assume are the ends of the exhaust come out so it even matches up like in the physical as if it was a real thing which just didn't they didn't have to do that but they did there's nice studs in the side of the building right here and just the engine isn't completely built up but most of it is and i can even pull it out if i really try but i'm not going to because it's it's pretty well in there but there is a lot of the detail this is not generically built engine other than that there's not much to say. None of the sponson bins open up. There's no interior of the turret, obviously. The bustle rack doesn't have any ammunition. But it is just, I mean, it's well sculpted. Like, I love the way Kobe sculpts back of turret bustles with the upside down building techniques. You see there? And you see how well the new attachment system works. Most of the time, it just comes off of the turret. And it is just a mean looking machine. I, let me be honest, I thought American Heavies just kind of looked samey, you know, and too generic, but I have a big, a lot more appreciation for them after having owned this set and having it in my hand. And just seeing how big it is, especially compared to the German Heavies, which I know Kobe scale, they are, they go back and forth between 135th, 148. I know I can't use these Kobe tanks to accurately judge scale, but just seeing, have, being in its presence and seeing the lines and the shapes, it really does feel, it, it, I have a, a lot bigger respect for the Pershing after having owned this set. And I think you might too.